Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. It has been a little bit. I wonder if this will look better. Oh, that zooms. Never mind. It has been a little bit since I've made an update video for you guys. So, V Dub Life going strong. I want to show you guys just some updates on the car. Nothing huge yet, although I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh,. Not gonna, obviously they're headlights. Oh yeah, we're going big. And then I also have a second pair of tail lights that I'm not gonna use. So this is the first time in a little bit that I've actually started and ran the car. This guy's more broken, don't worry about it. It's idling a little funny, I have noticed that. But you know what? That's what the learning experience is all about. I do have the headlights on for the ones that are on the car. It does still need brakes. Very badly. I need to replace the brakes. But other than that, something you guys haven't seen yet. Oh yeah. Look at that. So I'm actually kind of happy. It lights up like this up here. I don't know if only the middle lights up when you hit the brakes or what, but it kind of looks cool that it's only on the sides. But look at these turn signals, or look at these tail lights. Woo, so good. Let's, uh, flashers. Let's see how they look now. These were a pain in the ass to install, I'll tell you. But man, do they look good. Look at these things. Full LED conversion. Oh, it looks so good. I love that it matches the body paint so well that they just blend the hell in. I was going to do the whole car in chalkboard. Decided against it because, frankly, that just looks too damn good. One side is a little bit weird. I think this car has been rear-ended in the past because... This gap under here is huge. And then on this side, no gap. So other than that, she runs all right. I mean, yeah, I have the check engine light for the brake rotors and brake pads, but, and this guy's broken. Um, so don't worry about it. I have plans to fix it. I just gotta find the parts, but it's running all right. Um, today's big fix was this guy here. Am I able to turn on my flash somehow? Oh, there we go. But this was today's big fix. Granted, it's not sitting in here very securely, so I wouldn't trust it driving. I'm gonna have to zip tie it or something. This is an electric fan for basically when you uh, start the car, um, and it's cold. <laughs> That's literally all it is. It just for when you start the car and it's cold. It turns on and feeds more air into the engine than is meant to be. So I've kind of wondered if like, if you can tune that to turn on at higher RPMs and just give a little bit more air for a little bit more power, but this car's not about making power. This car's about just looking good for cheap. So, hope you guys are excited. Next upgrade is going to be a cold air intake just to make life a little easier. Then the headlights are gonna go out. I cannot, for the life of me, get the bolts out though. The bolts are so rusty, they just spin freely, but I'm gonna turn the little guy off. Oh yeah, the dashboard actually looks pretty good. I love the blue lighting and everything. But yeah, it runs pretty well. It does have a weird idle. Definitely bounces up and down more than it should. But if I just give it some gas, it stops. You can kind of hear it bouncing. The longer the car runs, the worse that gets. So that's a big issue I'm gonna have to figure out. But other than that, you know, I got the heated seat still. I'm glad about that. Ooh, these guys get, to oh yeah, you can't see it. I don't know what this button does. 
It doesn't seem to do anything when you press it. Defroster, heated seats for over there, the climate control, the AC is broken entirely. I need to do a new AC compressor, so that'll be fun. But other than that, I think it's doing all right. I can turn this on now and it's completely fine. So, oh good, that works. But, you know, it's a fun little project. It's something to learn from. The idle is a lot better than it was. Uh, it's not idling nearly as roughly as it was in the past. So I think I'll start trusting it to drive it. And maybe I'll do a vlog with you guys once I get a mirror. I was going to order some mirrors and I missed out on some really rare mirrors for this car for only 35 bucks for two of them. So unfortunately I'm not getting those mirrors, but we'll figure things out in the future and go from there. So I hope you guys are excited for more VW life car show should be starting back up in the area soon. I have a friend who wants to do the daily vlogs with me. I don't know if I'm excited or not, <laughs> but we'll figure things out. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.